Hey everybody, I thought we'd just get this party started. Welcome to Crafts and Games Live with Cindy. So glad you're here tonight. I see lots of chat going on already. Let me get it on my screen here. Uh, I don't know how many is already on, but quite a good group. So thanks for joining tonight. It's going to be a fun night. I'm really excited to show you some ideas that you can use for your gift cards. And I had a kit, so which is really cool. Had this kit, and uh, it was on my shelf, and I used it to make some cards some time ago. Let me clear my screen. And uh, then it's just sat there because I usually can make my own. And I thought, well, why not show you some of the ideas from the kit and show you how you can do it without a kit? Make sense? Anyways, so that's what we're going to do tonight. I have a really fun game for you. Get your head on because there's numbers involved. <laughs> for those of you that love all my numbers, I'm so glad that you're here tonight. If you're new, I'd love for you to pop down in the comments and say hello. Where are you from? We're glad to have everyone here. We're going to be counting down to Christmas soon, starting December 1st. Don't miss that. Um, on the evenings, we're going to have Countdown to Christmas where I open the Crafter's Companion. Which side is it on? That side. Do um, you see that little tree box? Right there. Anyway, we're going to be opening that and counting down to Christmas in the evenings. And then in the mornings, I'm going to be doing Vlogmas for the first year. And I'm super excited about it. I have already filmed the intro. <clears throat> and um, so I think you're going to like it. I hope. You know, I've never done it before. So anyway. <laughs> You've been too sick for math. Oh, it's okay, Rochelle. It's really not going to be hard. Anyway, um, so glad to see everybody that I already know. Glad you're here. Um, if you are part of the Secret Santa Christmas Buddy thing that we're doing, uh, that started Monday. And for a couple of weeks, we're just going to be encouraging the ones that um, Denise uh, paired us up with. Okay, happy birthday. Oh, yes. So we have some birthdays. So, uh, Rochelle's birthday is, is Thursday, I believe. And then somebody else is having a birthday. So I don't want to miss, miss birthdays. So who else was having a birthday? Yes, I sing happy birthday. I do. So I know that you guys love it so much. <laughs> don't forget to chat it up. Let's see, did I get a package from you? Sheila, um, we checked the mail today. I My husband didn't bring home a package, but we'll check tomorrow. Um, and also, I if you are one of my Patreon members, those have been mailed. So if you're in the pen pal group, um, that's the pen pal mail. So uh, don't forget about that. If you are... A Patreon member. I'm just going to mention this. Um, every Saturday, there's going to be a giveaway in December for Patreon members. So don't forget that. All right. Um, we missed my birthday. So Debbie Walker, Diane, all these Debbie Walker. Okay, wait a minute. I think I missed it. <clears throat> Donna, Donna Braggs. Okay. So, so Rochelle and Donna and then Debbie Walker was last week and we missed that. Oh, I know. Yes, the post office has been a challenge. I just want to say it has been a real challenge. So, Debbie, uh, it has not been found. I do not know what happened. If somebody received it, they must have kept it, or it could, it could still come back to you. Um, strangest thing, I don't know, because we've checked my mail and 
I did not get Debbie Walker's. Yeah, so let me just preface this to say, I don't know if they're just super busy or what, but mail has been a challenge. Um, and sometimes mail has taken super long to get anywhere, which is not a super thrill for me. All right, so let me wish happy birthday to Rochelle, Donna, and Debbie Walker. All right, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rochelle, Donna, and Debbie. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> I'm sure that they're going to be calling me because I sing happy birthday. Anyway, no, don't forget to make, uh, also don't forget to chat it up. Uh, Mandy's birthday, November 27th was yesterday. Happy birthday, Mandy. I'm including you in with everybody else. Um, so, um, let's see what else. Uh, so don't forget that. Don't forget that. Hey, Elaine. So I'm seeing a bunch on. I'm trying to to watch the chat and then, oh my goodness, I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is, um, let me see. There we go. Get my chat up before the class starts. I don't know. Okay, so, oh, thank you, Pam. <laughs> Great singing. Um, so don't miss Vlogmas, because I'm going to do that in the morning, and I've never done it before, and I'm super, like, nervous about it for some reason. Um, I haven't had dinner yet. I haven't either. I ate some chips, though. Don't judge me. Anyway, um... <laughs> I'm trying to read some of these. Okay, so I'm going to get, so anyway, I'm not going to tell you all about it, but it's going to be fun. All right, so let me tell you what I have with this kit. It was called a Nifty Gifties, and um, they don't sell it anymore, and so it's like, okay, well, I like the patterns, and so we can just make our own, right? So, all right, we're going to get started. Let me switch the camera around. Um, as you can see, I have one that I made here some time back. It was in the box actually. And this is one that is a double pocket. So isn't that cute? I mean, it's super really simple to do. And if you were given someone maybe two gift cards or a little note in a gift card, that's really all you need to do. So the actual kit came like this. So this is what is Vlogmas? Okay, so this is something that has been on YouTube. And Vlogmas, vlog being video, like a blog, and Christmas, and you mix it all together. And it's just kind of something you do maybe to count down to Christmas. And, um, you know, everyone does it differently. So I'm going to include some really fun things to do to count down to Christmas. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So don't miss it. Those will be in the morning. I will be filming them ahead. Um, so I hope you like it. I don't know. I just hope so. Here, you can't see me. I got to, I got to get where I can see, where you can see me and I can see you. I just like it that way better. Yep. It's just a, it's just a video countdown. I already do the countdown, really. But I thought this would be kind of fun to do something a little bit different. So we'll see. We'll see how you guys like it. I mean, I don't have to, but we'll see. All right. So this is a really fun, um, this is a double pocket. And basically, I would suggest if you're going to do it, um, you'll do a double-sided paper right? Because you, you, you actually do see both sides. So let me show you, let me get a piece of, um, 12 by 12 paper that is double sided so I can show you how it works. So you can see how it works. All right. And I did the measurements for you. So if you like the double pocket, let me just show you how to do it. And I'm going to go a little bit slow 
So it does look like a frog, doesn't it? Now I'm not going to cut it like this. It'll just be a square to cut or uh, rounded corners. But all right, so you need to start with an eight by eight sheet. So I'm just going to cut this piece eight by eight. So that's kind of where you start. So you can see basically this is where you are, right? So all you're going to do is you're going to do some cutaways. You're going to score and then you're going to have a couple of flaps really and truly to fold these in. Now I'm not going to round this like it is on this little frog. I am just going to, um, I'm just going to cut it um, and make it look more squared, I guess is the word. So this is double sided. I'm going to scoot it over a little bit, move my scissors out of the way, my ruler. Okay, so because it's probably easier to see on the green side, um, basically you're going to score here for a flap at the top and then you're going to score in the middle for it to fold up like that. So the first score for the top and the bottom, you're going to score it at two inches and five inches. So we're just going to score all the way across at two inches and at five inches. Oops, I hit it. All right, so two inches and five inches. So let me just show you. There's that score and there's that score. And you could use a ruler and just mark your lines um, if you don't have a scoring board. Then when you turn it from the other side, let's see, you're going to score at two inches and six inches. So we're just going to score all the way down at two inches and then all the way down at six inches. So now you can see we're making the center and the center are our pockets. And you're just going to fold and fold. Now you are going to use these score lines to cut away also. I'm just trying to make sure you can see okay. All right. Now on the bottom, you're going to need a half an inch because you need a little flap down there. And then up here, you're going to need a half an inch just on the flap, right? Right there. And then right here. Wait a minute. Is that right? Half an inch on the other side. Sorry, I'm upside down here. Half an inch here. And then let's go. Let's make it two inches. So we're just going to go here. Let me flip that around. So basically, you're just going to cut some flaps, and I think I cut this one a little bit shorter, but that's okay. I'm just going to go half, and then this one is, where is that one? I cut it wrong. I, I scored it. Okay. Let me get that now. It's hard for me to see. All right. So you need your flap on either side here, and then you're gonna cut away the excess, and then you need your flap down here, and then you're gonna cut this square away. So let's just cut away the top. I'll show you. It's really pretty simple. I don't think I'm gonna go the whole way, but you can see what I'm talking about, and then I'll show you the one I already did. Now, if you want to round your corners, you can definitely do that. So you can see now we're going to start making our pockets and this is going to fold up like that. You're going to cut away the bottom right here. And I always like to kind of cut that little triangle out when I'm doing those because it's easier to fold it in, I think, you know, like this. So then here is my... Uh, oh, I cut it. I cut it the wrong place. Here, let me show you. All right, so then you end up cutting away about an inch here and an inch here. Then you have your folding pockets here. You're going to glue them down and glue these down. Then you can fold this up and that over. But this one wasn't double sided, so I felt bad about showing you that because it wasn't pretty. 
Anyway, that's your double. That's your double, like this one. Except for this was made with, with the rounded edges. And you could do that. That's just kind of one of those kind of fun things. But you can also do a matchbook. And I thought the matchbook might be something that you guys would like even more. And this is one I just made here. And basically, you've got your... Um, your pretty edge here cut with some decorative scissors. You're gonna have like a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch here. And then you make a little pocket on the inside. And then you're just gonna tuck that in. Now you can put a little bit here if you want to, or something to help it stay closed. Or you can put a brad, whatever. I want a green Christmas, so oh, no math. <laughs> so let me show you on this one. Basically, you're gonna need a sheet of 12 inch by four. And let's see if this is four, yeah. So we'll just use this piece here. Okay, so you need 12 inches by four inches, and then you're gonna score it at one and a half and then one and a quarter. So you see your little quarter of inch there. Then you're gonna score it at six and three quarters and seven. So you're gonna come over to six and three quarters and then seven. But my scoring tool doesn't go that far, so I'm gonna have to measure from this side. So we're gonna go this way and then you're going to want to score it, let's see, let me turn it this way. So then you're going to come down to about is it five inches. Let me just make sure because I'm having to do it backwards. Yep. So then you're going to come down to flip it around is sometimes the easiest way. And then a quarter. All right. So then you're fold it there and there. And then you're going to be able to tuck it in. So if you don't have a big board, then that's how I did it. So I did it at five and then five and a quarter. And then that tucks in right there. And you've made your large matchbook. And then you can make a pocket to go on the inside. And it's really easy to make a pocket. You can make a pocket, you know, like any size you want to. Just a plain pocket. This one's too big. But just cut it to fit inside here and this is five inches so maybe make it four inches and let me just get a, a piece that's not the same color so this one is three inches and just say we want to make our pocket at two inches so we'll just score that fold up and then we have a little pocket and if you want to round the corners if you have a corner rounder you can do that and then just put a little tape on the sides. Does anybody on here give away? Um, you guys are so sweet. Um, does anyone on here give away gift cards? You guys are just a talking away. All right, so, so if I had a gift card here, I could actually just glue this in here. And that's my gift card. I would glue it in because otherwise it's not gonna stay in there. So I'll just glue it in. And then decorate this with something cute. Um, just say you had um, Say you had somebody that has puppy dogs and you want to give them a gift card to one of the pet stores. Just, um, just put that on there. And then you can use decorative scissors to cut this off. So if you want to make it a little more decorated, just do that. And you don't have to, um, you know, seal it. But if you want to, I mean, you could even just put a, just a dab of glue. And that's going to hold for you. So it's got that matchbook look to it. Just like that. So that's another one. Another thing you can do is your, um, you know, like just a tag style. If you want to. So if you had um, just, you had, say, your tag. 
and you cut it to where you folded it here and made like a little pocket with your tag. You would just be adding a tag to your pocket and then you could put your gift card in there and then put a little ribbon on it and decorate it up. You can also just take a sheet of um, paper that is, this is five and a half inches and then scored at two and three quarters and then round your corners, fold it in half and then just put some tape or glue on it like this and then just throw, put your gift card inside there. And I just have these little journaling cards or whatever to go in here, but you can just, you know, make, put that in there and then decorate this. Super fun, <clears throat> like have a holly jolly Christmas holiday, whatever. Just put it on there. So there's a lot of ways you can you know, take your gift card and kind of elevate the uh, experience for your recipient. I mean, you can also just make, um, you know, a sheet. This is one sheet that is six inches long, scored in half, and then cut. Um, let's see, how wide is this? This is three and three quarters, so you want a half, uh, quarter of an inch on, or half an inch on e either side. And then cut away this extra. And then you just got your little half hole there. And put your tape on here or your glue. Glue it down. And you could put these inside cards too, which is super easy to do these days. You can buy just a cute little card or make a card and just slide your gift card in there and then just put something fun on the outside. So lots of fun different ways to make um, interesting pockets for gift cards and all that kind of stuff. What do you guys think? I don't even know if, if you are. <laughs> you think it's cute? Well, there's lots of different ways that you can make gift card holders. And I know that that's a kind of a big um, gift these days, especially when you have to mail presents and it's hard to mail them. And so gift cards are really nice. So if you were going to buy a gift card for someone, where would you buy it from? Would you buy like a Target or Walmart or a Starbucks or a restaurant? Hi, Nettie. <clears throat> Excuse me. You find it relaxing watching me mix? I can just keep going, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's so many fun things to do. And sometimes we just need to think outside of the box. I mean, you can take a sheet of paper just like this. It's only four inches by uh, about four and three quarters. Um, you have a half inch on either side. You make yourself a little flap, cut away the excess, make your little pocket. And honestly, you could make these as all kinds of pockets in your junk journals, really and truly. They don't even have to be for gift cards, but this season, you know, that's not fun. Let me grab this one. So, so super easy. And just make sure it'll fit in here. So that's all you really need. And this is, uh, ends up being three and three quarters. So, Lots of ways to put a gift card. Food places, yes, Michael's. I would love a gift card to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I would definitely use that. <laughs> Is it cards that can't be used anywhere. Okay, so like sometimes um, we want to buy like the Visa gift card or the MasterCard, but you do have to pay sometimes a fee for those. But they're nice because they can be used anywhere. Um, like a grocery store, yes. Or a Safeway card or um, like King Super in um, Colorado. 
Really? Huh. How do they get activated, Sue? thought the uh, cashier had to activate them. Yeah, so anyway, um, Amazon has some fun gift cards, which Amazon is fun too. So, all right. So, that was quick. Didn't take too long to... Um, to do those. Those are fun. And um, we got to, oh, how fun. Patty, you need to go and find some good stuff. How fun. All right. So we're going to play. Let's see. I need to get up here. We're going to play a game. Let's see. I have, I have uh, some fun little Christmas papers for, for each of uh, uh, three people. It's just some fun papers. They're, um, I think they're from Timu. It's just a little something. And so I've got three of those for um, whoever wins. I know I don't like scammers at all. Somebody was trying to scam um, the last win Debbie uh, Music um, in the uh, Gratitude Challenge. <laughs> Yeah, I was keen on that one, though, because I knew Debbie, and so since I knew her for a long time, yeah, I recognized it right off. So can you believe that? I mean, that just happened. Yep, just happened. Trying to steal my Amazon card. Yep. So anyway, they didn't get me. Thank goodness. So, all right. Um, we're going to play a game called what's on my craft desk or craft table. And so I'm going to ask you some questions and it's literally a guess. Okay. So it's a guess. The bags are cute too. Yes. So you can use the bags as well. So don't forget that. You certainly can. You're ready for math. Okay. All right. Yes, Walmart cards are refillable, which is really nice. Yeah. You put your trees up today. How fun. I'm not quite done. The ornaments. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. I've got the bat, the envelopes already. And um, so those will be going out tomorrow. I had to get my other stuff done. And so now those are next. All right. So, this is called What's on My Craft Table, and you're going to guess a number for each item, and I will tell you the total number of items adds up to 43. <laughs> when I made this game up, because I just literally made it up, um, I thought everyone was going to run for the hills when I said you, you might need to do math. So... Yes, so can't wait to see your response to this. So anyway, uh, basically, uh, don't forget, if you're new to my channel and you do get uh, drawn, you do have to be present to win. And um, you can email me your address at prizes at cindyalewis.com. All right. Um, so the... Uh, the first question, now, yes, 43 is the total of everything. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, just keep it in mind. Okay, so you guys are going to wish you had me for your math teacher. No, just kidding. Okay, um, the first question is, and I do have some pictures to show you after, but for now, you're just going to be literally guessing, okay? But keep in mind... Yes, I block people that don't, that are uh, private, like men, <laughs> that I don't think they really care about my craft channel, and so I just pff, block them. Uh, I have at least that, Sabrina. Yeah, they're everywhere. You guys be careful. Okay. All right, so, no, yeah, there's probably more than that, Diane. Okay, the first question, 
how many pair or pairs of scissors are on my craft table. So you're guessing how many pair of scissors do I have on my craft table? And when I share the pictures with you, you probably won't really be able to count everything, but yeah, there's paper. Not really. I mean, the envelopes are on here. I didn't. Anyway, so, so the first question is how many pair or pair of scissors are on my craft table? Uh, <laughs> so should I tell you the answer as we go or do you want to wait till the end? Because I was thinking wait till the end. And remember, there's only... <laughs> what? Remember, there's only a total of 43. It adds up to 43. Denise, that's only. <laughs> All right, so, so wait. Okay. All right. Okay. Next one. Um, how many rolls of washi tape are on my craft table? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we need some suspenseful music, right? All right. I'll never figure it out. Maybe. Some of you will. Some of you will say, oh, yeah. Or you'll be surprised. <laughs> yeah. We're going to wait till the end, Nettie. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm going to wait. Okay. How many rolls of washi tape are on my craft table? And remember, it can only add up to 43 total for everything. Hey, Dawn. Hi, Tyla. Welcome. Did I miss welcoming you? Glad to see you. I'm glad you joined us today. Where are you from? You're up to 22, Jan. I will tell you, we're really high, Jan. <laughs> okay, next question. How many die cutting machines are on my craft table? Need some hot cocoa? How many die cutting machines are on my craft table? <laughs> yes. You're out of fingers and toes. Yeah, if you have 22 fingers and toes, you have a lot to count with. <laughs> Or a friend sitting next to you, right? Oh. Machines, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Next question. Dun, 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 dun. How many punches are on my craft table? Now, considering that I have some shelves on my pegboard, okay, I consider that my craft table. Tim Holtz Vagabond die cut machine. I have not. I have not seen that. Uh, you revise your estimate. Okay. You can revise. I do like the Tim Holtz deco, um, deco, um, paper cutter though, deco edge. All right. How many punches you guys? It's cool looking. All right. Next question. How many staplers are on my craft table? 
Now this is right now. Staplers. Hi, Stace, Stace. Welcome, welcome. Wisconsin, yay. Yay for Wisconsin. Stay warm up there. We have a bunch of states represented and Canada. And I had somebody on from um, Australia and then I think New Zealand the other day. And that was pretty cool. And Belgium. Yes. And England. Hi, Pam's Projects. Good to see you too. I'm watching the numbers go up. Okay. Last question. Okay. How many ink pads are on my craft table? Ink so, and then I want to know what number you guys are up to. If you, if you counted your numbers, you didn't have to, but, um, I think, I think I've had somebody from Scotland, um, but I don't remember where, and I had someone from Ireland the other day. That was pretty cool too. Yeah. 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 Scotland. Yes. That was neat. Okay. All right, we got lots of guesses. <laughs> Has anybody hit 43 yet? <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. So before I tell you you lost count before I tell you I'm gonna show you a picture okay you ready okay this is my craft table so you can kind of see a little bit yeah Scotland a couple weeks ago yep No, you don't have to. You out, Sheila. <laughs> okay, so that's that's my craft table. Of course, it's not a great picture. Here's another one. So you can kind of see. You can see my little tray for ink pads. You can see my punches there can't really see my scissors but you can see my you fold <laughs> let me see what laura's got yeah yeah i do i have quite a lot okay so let me come back to you all right so i had two pair of scissors yeah, I have a lot. I have a big table here that I can craft on. Uh, two pair of scissors, five rolls of washi tape, two die cutting machines, because I have my manual and then my other one, 13 punches. <laughs> when I count, start counting, I go, oh, this is excessive. I have zero staplers right now. Usually I have one. I have zero because it was downstairs. Yep. Thank you. And then 21 ink pads. <laughs> oh, so that's total 43. Did you guys have fun with that? Yep. Yep. Terry Lynn, you got it. All right, looks like we got a, a different conversation going, <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed that. So let's see who wins uh, the little bit of Christmas paper here. 
and the fun envelope. You need some, <laughs> yeah. Got the scissors and Washington wrong. Same for the punches and yeah. Yes, the cutting machines was right. Yep. 21. Yeah, ink pads. Yeah, because look at this little tray. I didn't even realize I had that many. But see that little tray in the back by my Christmas planner that there's three punches sitting on top of? Believe it or not, there are 21 ink pads in there. <laughs> oh, yes, eat your cookie, Sheila. Yeah, so anyway, that was pretty fun. That was different, but fun. All right, so let's see who's going to win. Get this down here. Yeah, I thought you might like something a little bit different this time. No drawing. Well, you don't know. I mean, it's pure guessing. It's just for fun anyways. <laughs> yeah. Ink pens. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say it clearly. What's behind the glue gun? Oh, that's my crocodile. It's, um... It, it punches holes, and then it it can put those little um, eye hole, um, you know what I mean, eyelets in there. So you can change that. I've had it forever. Crocodile 2. Yeah, I don't even know how old it is. Crocodile, yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. Totally for fun. No math, really. You didn't have to do math. It was just guessing. All right, so let's pull a winner. I'm just going to spin the chat and land on Nettie. Nettie, you won. Congratulations, my friend. Stay warm up there. So Nettie wins that one. All right, let's see who wins the next one. Well, the red one, Sheila. Sheila won. And then lastly, let's see who wins. And it is Diane. Diane, my pen is skipping Diane. So congratulations to Nettie, Sheila, and Diane. You have won tonight. So I'll get those out probably with all the rest that are going to be going out um, for that are already sitting there waiting to go out. Okay, let's see if I can get back down here. Okay. So you guys, thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate you all. I'm glad you had a good Thanksgiving and got to see friends and family. Oh, Sheila, did you say you are moving? Wait a minute. Did you say you're moving, Sheila? If you do have a new address, let me know, hon. Okay. So we can make sure this gets to you. Um, I'm trying to, I think I missed the comment. So, um, oh yeah. Where are you moving, Sheila? And I don't see... So, um, you're welcome, Nettie. You're welcome. And you are welcome. Make sure I have your current address um, so I can get these sent out to you. Diane, you're still at your house. Um, Nettie's still at her place. So, Sheila, if you need a different um, address, just let me know. Thanks so much for being uh, here. Don't forget, December 1st, a lot starts happening on December 1st. Trying to give you some Christmas videos, and um, I want to do some shaped pockets for my December Daily Christmas Planner. So that should be fun, too, coming up soon. So anyway, have a great night, everybody, and I will...